As we mentioned, the plane in today's crash operated by the American Flight Academy. That is the same school involved in this deadly crash. Remember that? That happened in East Hartford back in October. A student pilot was killed in that crash, but the instructor survived. News 8's Jackie Slater has been digging into this school all day long now. She joins us live tonight from Brainerd Airport in Hartford with what she found out. Jackie? Darren, in my hands right here, this is the registration for the plane involved in this morning's crash. The fixed wing single engine Piper belongs to a company called International Aviation LLC. Now, the owner of that company runs two flight schools here in Connecticut, one in East Haven and one here in Hartford. Not too long ago, this was the takeoff point for another fatal flight involving that business. Lights off, doors locked. This is the American Flight Academy's New Haven office shortly after one of their planes went down near Tweed New Haven Airport. Airport Executive Director Tim Larson telling News 8 the flight school moved onto the property in 2014. They've been very good tenants, um, very good um, operational, you know, never had any concerns at all uh, about them. The school's owner, Arian Pravala, was seriously hurt in this crash back in October. A twin-engine Piper PA-34 coming down on East Main Street in East Hartford as it approached for landing at nearby Brainerd Airport. Pravala told authorities the student he was flying with was arguing with him and acting erratically. Investigators ruled the crash as intentional, saying the student was trying to take his own life. The student was killed in the crash. Pravala received burns on 17% of his body. Today at Pravala's house in Weathersfield, people were home, but nobody came to the door. And this afternoon, a similar scene at the American Flight Academy's Hartford location. Back in East Haven, George Arthur, who says he's a student at the flight school, learned of the crash right after it happened. Anything can happen once you're in the air. Once you get off the ground, anything can happen. So any little issue can bring you down. Two fatal crashes in a five-month period. The investigation into the latest one now being handled by the FAA and the NTSB. Those involved in the aviation industry saying each one weighs heavy on their community. I just think it's very sad that unfortunately, uh, you know, someone's lost their life here. And, and um, you know, it's uh, not, not uh, my heart goes out to these people. And again, we want to reiterate that October's crash was ruled intentional. Pravala was not charged in that incident, and the NTSB saying that it is too soon to know what caused today's crash. Reporting live in Hartford tonight, Jackie Slater, News 8.